Hello, my name's Chris and I'm going to give you some lessons on finger picking right from the very beginning. As long as you can play some chords, yeah, you can start your finger picking, okay? First of all, the right hand, okay, it's like it's holding a rubber ball. The fingers are at nearly right angles to the hand. They try to move in a straight line towards your elbow or slightly over your shoulder, like that. And the only bit of your finger that moves, if you can, I mean as near as near as damn it, is the end digit, this bit here. So a little exercise you can do is put your fingers straight up and just do that with each finger. It's supposed to help. Don't know if it does, but it's supposed to help. Okay? Just like that. Just do that with each finger. Okay? Now it's as if you're holding a rubber ball and the hand goes down onto the strings like that. Okay? It's not like that. Okay? It's like that. All right, so you get more power then when you're pulling towards your elbow. You get more of a claw or plinky effect when you're down here, which you can use anyway. But, but to get the perfect sound, you should really hold the perfect sort of attitude with the hand like that, okay? To start off with, then you can move it around however you like, okay? The thumb is stiff. I know a lot of people do this thumb like that but if you can keep it stiff you get a better sound and you get more power okay okay now the first lesson these are going to be quite quick lessons the first lesson on finger picking put a D chord on your guitar then your thumb hits the fourth string second finger hits the first string thumb hits the third string first finger hits the second string so you get that effect Doing that and after a few days try and speed it up you can get it to quite you know, just quite fast and your fingers will start to feel like they should be doing it at first they just feel odd yeah okay now when you get to that stage where they're starting to feel quite good you then try two other chords you try a G okay and you try a C now with a G you hit the sixth string the base of the chord the rest is the same, second finger hits the first string, first finger hits the third string, first finger hits the second string. So you get that. And you try that for a little while till it starts to feel quite natural. Then you try a C chord where you hit the base of the chord again. The thumb now hits the fifth string, second finger, first string, thumb, third string, first finger, second string. So you get that. about all those chords, D, G, C. You then try and do them all slowly without stopping like this. C, and back to D. Then you try to keep them going like this. Maybe do a, a couple on each one like that. first lesson. Good luck.